So we're here today in UCD demoing our latest technology, Sky Sprayer. Um, this is Graham from Sile Essentials. Um, Grass Tech, Vantage are, are now the main distributors of this product in Ireland. So basically what it is, it's the latest technology in, in spraying, uh, green on green, but it's using AI cameras to identify weeds um, and um, give it GPS coordinates and target it with uh, a nozzle then. Um, so Graham, will we just walk through the, the system here and you might go into more detail. Yeah, for sure. Um, so this is a, a 15 meter uh, model. Um, it is based on a, on a Team Sigma sprayer. Um, uh, ultimately, um, it has a few key modifications um, which are done at the factory so that it's much more um, uh, uh, correct for uh, the spot spraying system. So the first thing that we have is the, the two tank system. Uh, obviously with spot spraying you, you don't really know how much chemical um, you're going to need. So um, the idea is that you're only batch mixing um, 200 litre uh, uh, tank fulls of chemical at a time. So you can um, spray um, you know, part of a field and understand how much you are, you're actually going to use. Mix again, mix again, using the clean water from the, from the top tank there. Um, the next thing that you'll see is along the boom we have um, um, some extra mounts here and these are for our AI cameras. Um, so they are placed every three metre interval uh, along the boom. So we have one camera on the front and then four other cameras along the boom. Um, each of the cameras is sending back um, uh, its pictures to our AI brain at the, uh, on the back of the machine there and it's, it's analysing those um, sort of 30, 20 to 30 pictures a second uh, from each camera for uh, a target. Um, so in this case we're working in grassland with um, a, a, a Dawkins target. So those, um, those images are being analysed and if the, the system believes that they are um, a higher than a, a preset threshold then it will activate the second computer to um, control the um, individual nozzles control on this on this machine to, to, to spray some herbicide onto the uh, onto the docking and ultimately kill them out of the sward. Okay and um, do you think say commercially then what level are we at with different weeds? Yep, so, uh, so in the grassland model um, we have docks um, which is, is fully ready to go and um, we have lots of uh, training data on that one and it's, it's working very well in, in really diverse conditions. The, um, the next thing that we're going after is, is thistles um, and uh, yeah that one's in the beta release stage so, so that one can be used um, but uh, it is with operator caution just to make sure that it's using, it's doing the right job um, in a particular sward. Uh, on the roadmap, looking further ahead, we are gathering data um, and uh, we hope to release uh, nettles, ragwort and rushes in the, uh, in the relatively near future. Okay, okay, yeah, brilliant, yeah. And um, what would you say our target market is? Um, obviously, it's a, it's a significant investment, but yeah. um, would you say there's a particular side of, of the industry that would, would, would benefit more there, there's a there's a huge benefit to, to everybody. It's the it's the economic, the environmental, um, and the agronomic uh, benefit um, that, that the system brings. Um, primarily, um, we're finding that these machines are are working uh, best with contractors. Um, uh, ultimately, um, there is an opportunity. Um, to, to go out and offer a service to um, a, a number of farmers um, which ultimately justifies the, uh, the, the cost of the equipment um, and then benefits the farmer as well by um, reducing the amount of uh, clover that's being killed out mm. in a, a, as if there were blanket spraying um, and also the reduction in grass yield if again there were blanket spraying. Um, so, so yeah, we're, we're finding mainly contractors but the benefits are there for everyone. Okay, and if you were to put a figure on chemical reduction, 
what would you be hoping to hit? Yeah, so, so chemical reduction really depends on the infestation level, uh, obviously, um, but we, we pretty uh, regularly see chemical savings between 70 and 90%. Um, the mean um, sort of level um, being somewhere around 75 to 80%. Okay, yeah, so there's going to be a significant, uh, significant input cost reduction there, Absolutely. as well as um, the environment and um, your, your clover sward and your multi streety sward. Yes. Um, brilliant, yeah. Well, we just walk around and yeah. maybe there's a couple of other things we can point out. For sure. So individual section, can, uh, nozzle control. Individual yeah. nozzle control here. Um, so each one of the, uh, the nozzles has their own solenoid on there, um, just controlled by a, a very high speed CAN bus system. Um, so ultimately that's, uh, that's telling the, the nozzle to switch very, very quickly. So we're able to spot the weed um, just, just forward of the boom here with the camera um, as it's coming towards and then uh, ultimately apply as it's passing by. Um, so uh, just as we move full circulation as well uh, isn't it? yeah exactly so um on the machine um we've got a, a recirculation system so that um, once you've mixed your your chemical up you can turn that on and it circulates the chemical right through the boom so that the the chemical is right there ready at the nozzle to to go spot spraying you don't have to you know um let the let the chemical come out to um to flush any water out of the boom it's right there ready to go um, these computers here are quite interesting. Yes. Um, yep. So this this top one is the uh, is the main brain. So that's the one that all the camera feeds are being sent back to. Um, again, about 30, uh, 20 to thirty frames a second from each camera um, coming back into there and being analysed in real time. So that's the, the sort of real horsepower box there um, in that one. This bottom one here is the uh, the controller for the rest of the sprayer, so it's controlling the nozzles um, and, and making those decisions as to when a, when a particular nozzle needs to be needs okay. to be turned on. Brilliant. This machine has uh, the boom tilt option um, for for automatic leveling. Um, it, it doesn't necessarily have to have that, but um, we find generally in Scottish grassland um, it can be a little bit variable terrain so um, having that's a bit of a, a must for, for certainly our market just to, to make sure you can keep that boom stable and in the right place okay. um, on that one. And I see a dome on, on top of the sprayer, um, so it does need a GPS or it comes with a GPS? Yeah, so it comes with a GPS. Um, because um, we are seeing the weed and then spraying it, the GPS doesn't need to be very uh, or incredibly accurate because GPS generally degrades over time. Um, so because we're seeing the weed and spraying it, there isn't much time for the, for that degradation. So the drift uh, yeah. uh, for the drift yeah. exactly. So um, so that works really quite well, even with a low quality GPS. The system can be improved, however, with uh, you know if you have RTK GPS uh, as an example on your tractor, by using that um, you will. Um, uh, increase the accuracy of your application map. So if you were wanting to come back in the future um, and uh, you know uh, to reapply or to stitch grass into where you've you've taken weeds out of, um, you will have a very accurate map if you supply RTK into the system. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, brilliant. So the uh, the nozzles here you'll see are all up and above the. Uh, the boom um, ultimately so that uh, it can take a little bit of rough and tumble um, in grassland situations it, it can be that way that it, it sometimes um, booms can go places you don't want them to so the, the nozzles are nice and protected up there um, so it's it's good good for that one very good it's a spot sprayer Yep. Can it function as a normal high-tech section auto section control sprayer? Yeah, absolutely. So it does have a, an ISOBUS task and control client built in. Um, so ultimately, if you have a, a task controller uh, terminal in the cab, you can um, uh, take the, the task control commands from that. So it will it will function as an individual GPS section okay. controller. Yeah, and it has its individual nozzled sections. So exactly the the, yep. the 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 best in the business I i'll use that um uh, you know down to that resolution for that too well that would make it a, an easier investment then it's not just doing one job it's able to do your all your exactly. regular spraying needs as well yep so we're in the sky sprayer app now on our rugged tablet um graham if you were um operating 
uh, a spray a spray today, what would you be doing first? Yeah, so so it's pretty straightforward. So we would just go in and try and set up a, a new application job here. Um, so a few different parameters. First thing is that we're selecting the, the model that we want to use um, on the day. Um, and you'll see here um, uh, we've got a different uh, the, the, a range of different targets. So we've got docks and thistles. Um, okay. So you have docks selected, and docks can you spray selected. docks and thistles at the one time? Exactly, yep. So if we were to tick um, the, the thistles as well, um, then yep, that you can do that one uh, at the same time or you know individually. It just really depends on your on your tank mix, um, yeah. what it is that you, you want to do. Um, and then range ahead and range behind, I presume that's the distance it kicks in and kicks out. Exactly, yep. So, so range ahead is as you're coming up to the plant, um, how soon before um, you get there you want it to start spraying and then range behind is the same obviously uh, beyond. Okay. Um, yep, so and then I see spray threshold as well. Yes. We might go into that in the next screen, would it be better? Um, yeah, absolutely. So so this is this is ultimately where you set up the, the confidence level um, of the system. But yeah, absolutely we can talk about a bit more about that in here. Um, okay. So we'll just start the job here. So this is it, just talking to the, the AI brain. Yeah, and the two boxes on the back. The two boxes on the back and just making sure that the, the full system is there and functioning as we would expect. Um, and then it's uh, it's booting into okay. the, the system. So what I can see there is, is something like a normal section control sprayer. You have your five sections. Yep. But how, how, would, um, how would it differ then, I suppose? Yeah, ultimately, um, w what's happening is that um, uh, the the sprayer has been built uh, has been broken up into five different banks, so it's ultimately a bank per camera. Um, so we can do some uh, some changes, make some changes here just to see um, some different things. So um, if we go into the advanced view, then mm. we can control um, the different sections of the sprayer as to how we'd like them to. To function. So, so it's all on auto at the minute. Does that mean yeah. it's it's spot spray? Spot spray mode. Yep. So auto is spot spray mode. On is just solidly on all the time. Blanket. And the blanket, and then off is is okay. off. And it, it's not just five sections. It's individual nozzle, isn't it? it? Exactly. So you can break it right down to the Brilliant. thirty different sections on this machine, um, and just control each individual nozzle uh, if you wanted to. Um, but generally, uh, when you're working, you're you're looking for the the averages of what the whole machine is doing, um, and that that's gotcha. sort of best best seen on this this screen here. And um, then this green line that is your threshold, isn't it? That's the threshold. Yeah. So so we're seeing it a little bit there, um, where we were just picking up bits and pieces of um, something that it thought might be a target. Uh, ultimately, as we drive along, the uh, these green bars will will go up and down. Okay. Um, uh, with the, the confidence of um, what it thinks it's seeing in the images. So if, the, if a camera sees something that it thinks might be a dock, it's going to start putting a, a green okay, bar yeah. up here. Once it gets um, uh, closer to the camera usually, the confidence will increase um, because it's getting a better picture of it. And once it passes the, the spray threshold, then it's, that means that that target's locked in and the, the, the controller will try and spray that. That okay. target. And you can increase and reduce the, the threshold to, I suppose, allow for sen the sensitivity of, of how sure it's going to be to pick up that e specific weed. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, I think there's an option to go through the cameras as well. It's cool yep. to see. So, yeah, absolutely. We can just bring up a, a, a camera here and see, see how it looks. So, we'll so maybe, there's the five cameras. Maybe jump yeah. to camera five because I think there's okay, a dock there. That's brilliant, yeah. Um, so, so yeah, basically this is this is the view when the system's driving along. So it's it's seeing the, the dock in front of the boom there and then it'll just draw a, an area of interest around it. Okay. Once it's got that, that's, that's where it's going to spray. And yeah, so um, that's a GPS coordinate sent back to the task controller. Exactly, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks very much, Graham, for that. Um, I suppose if anyone um, wants any more information on, on it, just get in touch with us at Advantage. And um, yeah, we'd be delighted to, to have the conversation and, and see can we, can we come up with a solution.